Hey guys, we're on to tip number five. Was it number four? I can't remember. I have a quick look. Tip number five. Got a choice, you can either go through the trees and uh, hopefully you'll get a bit further down the fairway. Uh, but get hit the trees, you can end up doing an eight or a nine on a par five, which could ruin your round. So, what I've learned in the last couple of months is to play safe. I know you can say, oh, I'll go for it, not a problem. But what I would do, walk up to your ball, Just chip it onto the fairway, like that. And that way, this is now your, that'll be your third shot. And you can get your hybrid out, or your three wood, depending on what you hit. And you've got a good chance then of making it towards the green. And maybe saving par or even birding it, depending on how, how, how you can hit the ball. So that's tip number five. If you're in the trees, play safe. Don't go for it, because it might ruin your round. And the room round means you're unhappy and you blame the clubs. So don't blame the clubs. Be smart. Play safe. That's tip number five. Hi right, guys, so we're going to move on to. Hi right, guys, we're going to move on to tip number, or well, my tip anyway. Not necessarily a great tip, but it's just something I, I use. We're on tip number five, which is chip and rum. As you see behind me, the flag is more or less in the centre of the green, and we're actually 50 yards away. From the side, from the flag. So 50 yards. What do you do? You think, oh, chip it, chip and run. Not too sure. Now I'm going to show you the two differences between a chip and run and a chip. Hopefully it will work. My golf game at the moment is not brilliant. But if I was coming to this now and I was 50 meet 50 yards away like I am, I'd probably use an eight iron just chip and run it onto the green let it roll nice and firm up to the flag but with the chip I could thin it or not hit it hard enough and it'll just drop down dead but it's your choice so we're going to see what happens I'm going to use a 56 degree wedge and a 8 iron right so what I'm going to do first we're going to do a chip and run with the old 8 iron it has been raining a bit so uh, the ground will be Quite boggy, so I probably have to give it a bit of extra oomph on this than normal. And obviously, because 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 blah, 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 I don't know. Right, because of the rain, obviously the greens aren't running as fast. So now we're going to change to a 50-60 degree. See that? And uh, see how this one works. So in this case, I'm 50 yards out, chipping and chipping works. I'll come and show you. Stay with me. We'll go live. Right, so we made it to the green. Excuse me, I've got my big tripod. So chip and rum, chip and rum has ended up here. 
yeah. The chip has ended up near the green. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the balls back, bring you with me, upside down. And we're going to move a bit closer. We're going to put the, back, the balls a bit closer, see if there's any difference if we did it, uh, if you're closer than, say, 50 yards. So I've moved it forward. So about 30, 30 odd yards to the pin. We'll do exactly the same thing. Let's we'll see which one works on close enough. Let's put you back here so we can get the balls in. You see the balls there? Yep. We'll do the same thing, chip and run, and a chip, but this time we'll do it from about 30 yards to the pin. Gonna go with, oops, forgot. Do we go with the eight iron first? I know they've got to come talk to you. Right, I top that, but it's gone near uh, four, three, four foot from the pin. So we'll see what happens now with the 56. Yeah. Completely and utterly cock that one up. So if I was 30 yards like I am, yes, definitely a chip and run, not a chip. 50 yards, a chip maybe, but it's what you feel confident with. Now if you can get your chip and a chip just onto the green, lovely, do that. Um, so anything between 50 and 30 yards to the pin, it's your choice. But I would probably do a chip and run at all times. Hopefully that's worked. If it's not, go have a laugh and tell me I play rubbish golf. It's only a game. Okay, tip number six. How far away from the ball are you when you're hitting it? I have been told there's two different, two different things you use. First one is your thumb on the club. So, you've got the ball, club, position, the first one I got told was your thumb, place it on your waist or your leg, you put your thumb on the end of your club, put your thumb on the end of your club and then your hand goes on your waist or your leg, depending on how you want to do it. Um, and that's how far you should be away. The other one I got told was to address the ball and let the club fall so it just bounces on your knee, top of your kneecap. See if I can show you. Whether you can see that or not. So the ball, the club, I'm hoping you can, you, I'm hoping you, I'm hoping you could have seen that. So the, the club just falls and gently bounces on your knee, top of your knee. Um, that's what I got told a couple of months ago when I had a lesson. I don't know why I'm like that because the camera's straight. That's kind of mad. Um, anyway, waffling on. So yeah, so one I've used is to dress the ball, let the club drop, so it bounces on top of your knee, and that's how far away you should be. Hopefully, that's what you're doing already. If not, give it a try, it might work, it might not do. Choice is yours. Right, so hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully these tips will, will help you in your golf. You know, if you're a great good golfer or just learning, 
it, it might help, it might not do. It's just something I've tried and it's sometimes it, it's worked for me. Nine out of ten times. <laughs> Touch wood. Um, so I'll put all the links below, everything that I've got, which I've done, which might help you. And another quick little tip at the end of here is if you're out of the course, and obviously most courses have lots of trees, and you're being bitten to pieces, buy the stuff from Avon. I'll put a picture of it up now, somewhere. Um, buy that stuff. It is, it works. Makes you smell nice as well. But just give it all over spray, especially in the summer, on your legs, on your head, on your back, your neck, etc. And it works great. Uh, I'll put a link to the Avon site where you can buy it. It's another good tip to use. That's a bonus one. Really, it's seven tips for the price of six. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll speak to you all soon. Leave your comments below. Tell me how bad I am, how bad these tips are, how rubbish they are. And don't forget, if you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe. Join my journey. Because uh, I'm now on a 22 handicap, so I'm going to try and get down to around about 15 to 17, hopefully, hopefully by next March. Because winter nights are coming now, so it's going to get very hard to get out during the day or early evening. So, yeah, so uh, that's that one, guys. Enjoy the video, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.